Welcome to today's pack opening. Now today we are not going to be opening any sealed product and we are going to be doing something a little bit different. Now I've actually been purchasing some Pokemon cards on eBay, some of them for flipping and some for investing as well. And now I've had quite a few arrive in the post today. So what I thought I would do is just open them up, see what kind of condition they're in and we can think about, and I want to put them in two different piles, one to invest, store away, and hopefully earn a good amount of money in the long term on them. And the second, we, I'm going to look to relist them and see if I can make some, some uh, easy, easy money on them. So let's have a look. Now I've opened these up in advance of this video, just to save time. But hopefully you can benefit from seeing the kind of cards that I am purchasing. Uh, and also, it might even give you a bit of insight into how these kind of cards are packaged. Um, so you can see this is how this one's come, um, which can be useful, particularly if you're selling. Um, but you have to be very careful when you're opening cards because, as you know, you can damage them and that changes everything. So this is the first one. So this is an EV on the ball. It is a promo. It's one of the promos. Hopefully you can see that. Now, obviously, this is quite interestingly packaged. Not particularly good, to be honest. Not not entirely impressed by the the, the seller. Sorry. Um, it is it is in a I suppose it is in a protected sleeve. And the reason I bought this particular card um, is because yeah, a it's in that sleeve. It's a promo, um, and I think this is a good long-term investment. So first and foremost, this card here is going in the investment pile. Second, what have we got next? So this has come in a standard envelope, this one. Um, we've got a, some kind of, oh, it looks like it's a, it's the seller's um, card for me to leave some feedback. I'm not gonna show him in this video um, purely because I haven't got his permission, so that wouldn't be fair. Thank you for your purchase. We see that we get these kind of messages, which is really, I will leave some good feedback if it's a good card because that's why we do this. Right, what we got next? Right, sorry if you can't see anything at the moment. I will show you the minute I get into it. I don't want to damage the card. As I say, you've got to be very careful, especially with Pokemon cards. A lot of the value is in the, um, a lot of the value is in the, condition so what have we got next so we here, here we have a a pikachu from i can't remember the set now in all honesty um but it's one of the it's one of the older sets um and this is in fantastic condition um this is a definitely a vintage card uh, trying to trying to think um it's from the 2006 if you know what set this is in drop a comment down below because that would be really useful to know it slipped my mind um, but this is a you know an older Pikachu card. There wasn't many on the market at the time. It's in very very good condition. I actually think this there's a slight nick in the bottom corner there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, there's a slight nick in that corner there. Um, but it's uh, in very very good condition. And this is a card that um, I think there's only one place for it, and that is in the investment. So two cards so far that I've spent. Uh, I believe I bought this this Pikachu here for around $15 US obviously and I think I spent around $40 on that card there on the EV. So next up, this is harder than I thought to film actually because I've got loads, I've got my addresses on these letters as well um, and other personal information which I don't want to give away. So next up we have, this one's a nice card, we have the Lunala GX um, promo Obviously, a, a, a very cool card, uh, you know, is in is is in hot demand at the moment. And yeah, this is this is fantastic. This is the type of card that you could I could probably keep long term and go for the investment route. Or I think this could actually be quite a good quick flip. I got this at um, a very good price. Um, it's a cool card. It's something that everyone is going to want in their collection. Um, it is in very very good condition. Looking at looking at uh, how it's arrived i've obviously looked online but you never know until it actually arrives but this looks to be in very good condition so i'm actually going to put that 
in the flip. I probably shouldn't have thrown that in the flip pile. Um, and drop a comment down below if you think that's the right decision. Could always change my mind on that one. Right, I know what I'm doing with this one already. Next, we have a Charizard GX from the Hidden Fates set. So let's just, I'm just going to open this up off screen just to keep it protected. So this is nice. This has come in a, I believe it's one of the Shining Fates uh, sleeves. So we'll just quickly check that. Oh, not one, but two. Yeah, I remember this order now. I bought two of these for a very good price. Obviously got a bulk discount there. So these are great Charizard GXs from the Hidden Fate set. Let's just have a look at the quality of the cards. Yeah, they're very impressed with those. They're in near, near mint condition, as the listing said. Obviously I did my, my checks, but as I say, always hard to tell. So there's some fantastic Charizard GXs. And I think I already had an idea for what I was gonna do with these. I am going to keep one, flip the other. Can't go wrong with that. So I think I paid around $8 um, for, for, for those cards, for those Charizards. So um, not too much money in them. Um, you know, long term, that's that, that should go up. It's a Charizard. Everyone always wants a Charizard. Um, and and yeah, at the same time, got it at a good price. I'll see them go for a little bit more so I can make probably half of one of the cards back for $5 profit. So you know, it's essentially freeing up one of these cards um, for, the, for the investment. And that's what I like to do. I like to mix a combination of flipping and investing. So you almost flip um, some cards. In, in, I mean, in an ideal world, we keep all of them. But if we, if you flip some cards, then you can drive cash and you can drive some investment for um, some money for your for your investments. And it just reduces, you know, your your uh, your overall overall expenditure. So the next next one's come in this kind of um, packaging, which is very very good. It's got that hard back. Um, always, you know, when you you buy from a seller who uses these, that they're kind of uh, taking care of the cards. Usually, it can be wrong. Um, but it's usually a good sign. So this is what we've got in this pack. So this is a Reshiram, and it's one of the super rares, I believe, from the one of the latest sets. I think it's Hidden Fates um, or Shining Fates. Sorry, sorry, Shining Fates Reshiram. And yeah, so obviously that's a really cool holo that's a really really cool card um, just looking at it here is in really really good condition um, I actually bought this so usually with the the modern sets I usually think about maybe you know quick flipping but on this particular card I think this is some good potential so I'm actually going to put that into the investment so at the moment we've got one two we've got four cards in the investment and we have two cards in the flip so you can see where i'm going with this one you can see where i'm putting my money right the last the last one oh i like this 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 is um this is one of my personal favorite cards and you probably won't be too shocked to see this come through the post so this is the the tag team promo it comes as well it comes included in the hidden fates elite trainer box and you also obviously pack them in in the uh, hidden fates booster packs as well if you're lucky um but this is just an amazing card um i love it so much i'm sure everyone does i've purchased it in the sleeve itself so this is how you know it's come from the elite um the elite the elite trainer uh booster box and or the elite trainer box not booster box but anyway i digress the important thing is the seals on it, and I'm going to hold this long term for its potential future value. Uh, it's around about twenty dollars at the moment. Probably could flip it for you know a couple of dollars more, but I actually think this is the kind of card that would be better to hold long term. Um, I think with with you know artwork like that, it's it's always going to be kind of in demand, and you know it's in really really good condition. Um, I don't think there's any kind of there's no snagging whatsoever. Uh, always hard to tell when a, in a sleeved or packaged um, card but you just don't you just don't know sometimes they in the manufacturing they can get damaged um, it looks maybe slightly off centered but not 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 too bad so that's going in the investment so just a quick overview of what I'm kind of investing in and then we'll look through what I'm flipping 
Um, and let's just think of some key takeaways. So yeah, we've got, you've just seen this one. We've got the Reshiram, Charizard GX, one of those put away for, for the investment side of things. We've got a kind of vintage Pikachu. Again, can't remember the set. So let me know, but it's from 2006. It's from the 2006 era. So let me know in the comments below if you know what that's from. And we've got the EV, which is one of the kind of recent 2020, 2020 promos. Um, and yeah, I think that's got a lot of long-term potential as well. And in the flip, we've got the Charizard GX. You know, you, you can find these quite easily on the market. So they're quite, you know, quite good to pick up. And if you, you know, if you, you get your listings right, you, you take the right pictures and you get your, your everything set up correctly, then there's no reason why you can't you can't make a bit of bit of cash on those. And I'm contemplating flipping the Luna 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 Lun I can't even say it now. Long video. Luna La GX. I'm considering flipping that depending on the prices. I know I got this at under value when I purchased. Um, but yeah, whether I hold that long term is subject to be seen. So they're my they're my purchases. I hope this video was useful. If it was, hit subscribe. I'm going to be releasing a lot more videos like this, what I'm kind of purchasing, what I'm looking to flip, what I'm looking to invest in. Um, and do drop a comment down below if you want to find out more about my strategies or any have any questions about the process or you know any tips for, for getting started. Um, and yeah, I hope you have an excellent day.